On that note, let's bring in David Barnson. Um, I, I, I'm just wondering if you can see a bottom for this market, David. Well, I apologize in advance, but I'm just not going to answer the question about whether or not we've seen a bottom. I heard some of the prior guests speculating that we haven't seen it or we have. And uh, there's one honest answer for you, Stuart, and one honest answer for our viewers, and that is nobody knows. And projecting back to what happened 11 years ago and 20 years ago and 40 years ago, when there are 50,000 different variables at play, I think is irresponsible. There's plenty of reason to think that we could have seen it and plenty of reason to think we couldn't have. What we do know is that the factors that have been driving the hyper volatility are definitely compressing, that there is less of this forced selling pressure into the markets. Uh, but when you have technical factors like short covering or last week, like you had the biggest margin call on our country that we have seen since the financial crisis, it's very difficult to project rational thoughts onto this market. Are you buying anything now? Now, before you answer, I know that you specialize in, in stocks that pay a very high dividend and a growing dividend. What do you buy in an environment like this? There are certain stocks we classify into two categories, low beta, very low debt, high stability type companies that we don't have an iota of concern about their dividend strength and their long-term sustainability. And I don't mind giving names at all. You look at Coca-Cola, Intel, Verizon, Walmart, these types of names are incredibly viable, stable. Some of them have actually defensively performed quite well here in this environment. Some are remarkably oversold, like a Coca-Cola that I think is on uh, a wild discount. But then there are also other names that have gotten up in a high yield territory that are very attractive and opportunistic, but we don't want to go pour into because, first of all, we can't get the cash out of the bond market right now. To rebalance out of bonds into stocks that means the bond market would be working. And it has started to work better the last two days, especially in investment-grade corporate bonds. But that market was frozen last week. You couldn't sell a municipal bond if you wanted to. So as the Fed's activities work their way through the bond market, it enables stock market investors to do better things. So yes, we're buying, Stuart, especially with new money coming in, but our rebalancing plans over the next six months are gonna go slow. All right, David Bonson, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it always. Yes, Thank sir. you very much indeed.